Hey guys, my name is Grace. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and like this video if you like this kind of content. This is my Misfit Market Produce unboxing. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know down in the comments below. And if there are other types of videos that you want to see, let me know that as well. All right, so if you've seen my previous videos, you know that Misfit Market is a produce company kind of like the first one I ever heard of was Imperfect Produce, but that one, uh, when I looked into getting these types of boxes, did not deliver to my area. The idea is they deliver produce that is not good enough for the grocery store. Uh, you probably have noticed when you go to the grocery store and you're looking at apples and tomatoes and melons, everything is very uniform, perfect color, perfect shape, um, no little blemishes or imperfections. Well, real food doesn't grow like that. Real food comes with imperfections, comes with weird shapes and little blemishes and nicks and scars and things like that and the grocery stores won't accept those because they're no they know that they're not as likely to sell those products so companies like misfit market come in and they say we will sell this produce to you know the people who are willing to buy it because inside there's nothing wrong with the food it's perfectly good produce perfectly good fruits and vegetables so that, that's what we've got today. Now one little caveat is Misfit Market recently changed the way that they operate. When I first started um, getting the boxes and when I first started doing these unboxings, it was you paid a certain you know membership fee or fee per box each month or however often you get it delivered to your house. And they would tell you, you could pick six of these items and they would give you say 10 items to choose from and they'd say pick six of these and then they give you a different category and they'd say okay now pick four of these things and maybe there'd be like five or six items and they'd say pick four and so on until you fill, filled up your box. Now they've kind of made it more of a free-for-all and they say pick any item you want and get as many of that particular item as you want until you reach basically the amount that you're going to pay per month or per box. So the dollar amount per box didn't change, but kind of the way that you fill up the box did change. And you could go read more about that on their website. Let me know down in the comments if you have more questions and I can kind of explain a little bit more how it used to be, how it is now. I don't necessarily have any opinions on if uh, the old way is better or the new way is better because this is my first box that I've gotten the new way. I don't get the boxes regularly um, you know every two weeks or every four weeks I I like that about Misfit Market they do allow you to skip the box anytime um, I'm single I work I travel I'm gone I get takeout sometimes I know if I order this produce I'm not going to eat it I'm not going to cook with it before it goes bad so I will skip that box and I really like that, that there's no penalty to skip the box anytime you want to Okay, all of that being said, let's get into what I got this time in my box. This is my June uh, Misfit Market box. Uh, so let's just start right here, right in front of me. This is, and I'm going to be reading off of my phone a little bit, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the price of the item up on the screen so that you can see, and if you want to compare at your local supermarket what the organic, because that's kind of the point is they're going to sell you organic imperfect produce. Uh, I'm going to put the price up so that you can compare it with your local store. Okay, so this first one is the organic mini seedless watermelon for $2.99. It's by Perfect Organics. Yep, looks good. You're supposed to like slap your watermelon to sound it, to see if it sounds right. And if it sounds like really hollow, uh, rather than like very dense, if it, you know, it's not supposed to sound like you're hitting something solid, it's supposed to sound really hollow. And that's supposedly how you test for a good watermelon. Also, supposedly to test for a good watermelon, you want it to have a really nice uh, like white spot, like pale spot, because that is where it sat on the dirt. The next item is a cantaloupe, organic, of course, cantaloupe. And so this is one 
kind of this one kind of shows a little bit more what's funny is about the watermelon there's nothing wrong with this watermelon like I guess it's kind of on the small side but usually seedless watermelons are smaller and it depends on what kind of I mean this is called a mini watermelon I mean what do they want so I don't know why this didn't get sent to a grocery store I mean it looks fine to me this cantaloupe is a little small now it's organic, so that means it's you know non-GMO and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's a little wonky shaped, like it's not a perfect oval. It's kind of it's kind of irregular, um, but it it looks fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I mean, it's a little like dirty, but that's not that doesn't mess up the fruit on the inside. And it smells okay. I don't know if it's quite ripe yet because I think usually when they're ripe, you can kind of smell it. Like they smell very cantaloupey, so I might let that ripen a little bit, but. Otherwise, it looks fine. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda go in random order here, whatever I see next. A bunch of radishes, literally a bunch. Um, I tried growing radishes in my garden this year and a lot of them didn't bulb up. I think maybe it just got too hot by the time I put them in the ground. It got too hot, so I'm gonna try to grow them again this fall. But these are I don't know what kind of radishes these are, but they're pretty standard, like the globe, you know, shaped. Uh, they look really good, and these are going to keep... One of the problems when I first started doing Misfit boxes was I was ordering a lot of, like, greens and stuff, and greens just don't keep for a long time anyway. If you get greens from the grocery store, I'm sure everybody watching this video has bought salad mix or spinach or lettuce put it in the refrigerator and it went bad before you had a chance to eat it. And so by the time the farmer grows it, they give it to Misfit because it's not going to be accepted from a grocery store. Misfit keeps it and ships it to me. I don't know if that's how that really happens. It may come straight from the farmer. I don't know what kind of distribution they have, but you get it. By the time it goes through the processes and I order it and all this stuff, and it gets shipped to me. All my greens that I've ever gotten from Misfit are really kind of wilted and stuff like that. So I'm trying not to buy lettuce and spinach and that kind of stuff. That stuff isn't in season right now anyway, so it's not really an issue. But I thought about that when I was buying, and you might want to think about that if you buy from, from Misfit or just from a produce company in general. Um, so radishes are going to be perfect because they're a root vegetable. They're going to keep for a really long time, either in my refrigerator or out of my refrigerator. Tip, um, I don't like eating uh, raw radishes. Maybe I could dip them in some ranch and eat raw radishes, but I don't really love the taste. They kind of taste like spicy dirt. Um, and But you roast them. You treat them just like a baby potato or something like that. Cut them up, maybe put a little olive oil, salt and pepper on them, roast them in the oven, and then they'll taste better. They'll taste not like a potato, but like a root, like your standard root vegetable, kind of like a carrot or something like that, way better. And they're good for you, so that's a way you can actually use radishes and eat radishes. And radishes are cheap, so that's perfect. Uh, here are some grape tomatoes, organic of course, one pint grape tomatoes, and they're kind of, I don't know what variety this is, they're not very red, they're kind of an orangey red, so hopefully that's not a um, indication of their ripeness, hopefully that is just the variety. They look perfectly ripe and everything, so I'm probably going to start eating these today and tomorrow as a snack. I like to just snack on cherry tomatoes and grape tomatoes when they're in season. Okay, I did notice a lot of this stuff is more packaged than usual. When I first started buying from Misfit, it was just kind of like this. Everything was just put in the box the way it came out of the ground. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, packaged things. So that's that's different and I don't know, it, I, you know, I just, I, I wasn't with Misfit for long enough to really know if that's changed. Uh, now I have mini sweet peppers, so just an organic bunch of, you know, the tri-colored mini bell peppers, mini sweet peppers. Use them in like stir fries and stuff. You could dip them in a dip and snack on them that way. I think these are just standard green beans. I'm pretty sure. 
that's actually perfect because I'm growing some beans, but you have to grow a lot of beans, like a lot of bean plants to get enough beans for even one person to have a decent serving size. So I always end up with like three beans and then four days later I have four beans. So this is actually nice. I'll just add my beans in with these beans. Uh, Brussels sprouts are delicious, cooked like in a cast iron skillet with some olive oil, balsamic, so good. Uh, these look like some kind of Roma tomato or some kind of paste tomato. I'll put the variety up, whole, just says organic tomato, so I don't know what variety this is, it just looks like a standard Roma kind of paste tomato. The color is not... Um, not impressing me. It's kind of orangey. This one, you can, um, uh, you can't, you can't really tell on the camera. I think the camera is even making them look a little better than they are. This one looks a little bit more red. They're very light colored, very kind of light orange colored, which is what you get in the grocery store. I mean, it's not any different from what you get in the grocery store. There's just it's not the same quality as what you're going to get at your local farmer's market in terms of tomatoes. Uh, this was interesting. So now that they're moving to this whole, you shop our whole site and fill your box with anything you want from our whole site, you can buy more packaged things. The packaged foods used to just be an add-on. Um, so you get any produce that you want, and if you want to pay extra on top of that produce, you can get some packaged foods. Well, now it's just get whatever you want, you know, for this price. So I got the Thai curry jackfruit. So jackfruit, there's a lot of different, this is the Upton's Naturals brand. Jackfruit is often used as like a meat substitute. Um, I think because it kind of shreds like shredded chicken or shredded pork would do. So you can use it kind of in place of like barbecue or shredded chicken. Uh, I have never done that. I've always been a little skeptical, so we're gonna try it and see. All right, the last thing in my box is a whole bunch of mushrooms because I love mushrooms. I am mushroom crazy. Um, I recognize some of these. This is definitely an oyster mushroom, and again, they're packaged. I'm not necessarily complaining because these would get smushed to death in the box if they had not been packaged. But I just I did notice when I opened this Misfit box, there's way more plastic than in previous Misfit boxes. Um, it, it's kind of hard to show you because it's reflecting off of the cellophane, but that's pretty standard oyster, you know, bunch of oyster mushroom. This is a gourmet blend, uh, Phillips Gourmet Organic, and this is Baby Bello, Shiitake, and oyster mushrooms. And they look good, you know, sometimes Mushrooms go bad very quickly too. I feel like none of these look, you know, moldy or wilty or, you know, sad. I'm gonna have to look and see what the last two are. I don't know what kind these are. Oh, okay. One of these, I think it's this one. I don't know my mushrooms. I am not a mushroom aficionado. Okay, this is one of them. Okay. And this is the other, I know it's hard to see, that you can't see that, that's, yeah, it's, it's darker. One of them is the hen of the woods mushroom, sometimes people call it chicken of the woods, I think, or hen of the woods. Oh, that's interesting. These are both, I'm confused. I think maybe these are both Hen of the Woods, but they look completely different. So, I don't know, but I'm gonna eat them. That's what it says. It says I got two different Hen of the Woods, one package of oyster mushrooms, and one package of the gourmet blend. Uh, okay, so that completes my little unboxing of my Misfit Market box. It's perfect timing because the sun is coming in here and is about to blind all of us. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these. Uh, let me know what other kinds of videos you want me to see. I've got a garden out back. I can show you more videos of that. I can do more makeup tutorials. I can do reviews on household products or cosmetic products. Please, 
please just comment below, let me know what you want to see, and I will do it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye! We're going to pause so that Watson can drink some water, and we will be back momentarily. It's good. it's good that he's hydrating. That's good. It's hot today. We're in Alabama. It's hot here. You good? You good? You good? Okay. If you're ever like hoping that somebody will call you, then try to film a YouTube video and everybody you know will call you.